I'm sharing my screen. So is the voice uh, okay? Uh, some one person can confirm. Uh, Naveen? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So today's session is on uh, survival analysis. And we'll cover the, this session in two parts. So today we'll be discussing the life table and the Kaplan-Meier. I'll just hold this for a few minutes. So data analysis made easy with Jamovi and survival analysis. So the objective of today's webinar is to understand the basic concepts of time to event outcome. As the doing it in Jamovi is a five minutes task. The most important is to understand the concepts behind it. Why do we need to do it? When do we do it? And how to write the result? So that will take uh, like initial one hour and then in the last 30 minutes, we'll see the commands in Jamovi. So we'll see how to construct a life table and a survival plot using the actuarial approach. And again, we'll see the life table construction and the survival plot using the kaplan meyer approach. Then we will learn how to compare the two survival curve. Like if you want to see the survival between male and female or between any other independent variable, then there are various statistical tests. Log rank is one of the most commonly used tests. So we'll see the application of log rank test. So objective of today's webinar is still this point. And then the later part, that is the fifth and sixth objective, which is to compute and interpret a hazard ratio and to interpret the Cox proportional hazard regression analysis. That will be done in the next session. As in one and a half hour, it is difficult to impart all the concepts. So that's why we are restricting ourselves only to the life table and Kaplan-Meier approach. So this is one... Uh, bottle you can see and you can see there are multicolor butterflies in this bottle. If I want to know the average time a butterfly will survive in this bottle, it's kept in this closed bottle and I plan to observe this bottle for 30 days. So can you get this answer from this if, I, if my question is from all of you? So, uh, can I see the messages? Okay. I don't know whether I'll be able to see the messages or not. So, yes, ma'am, you can see the messages, ma'am. In the QA box, ma'am. Okay. So, Vikas is writing yes, and then one anonymous attendee is writing no. Manikandan is writing yes. Praveen writing yes. So, agree, you can come to know because now it is a closed bottle and there won't be any loss to follow up because all the observations that is under my control. But in this case, if I ask this question from all of you, what is the event here? So can, can all of you type in the chat box, what is the event? Because in survival analysis, the first and foremost important point is to understand the event, which is also known as the failure. Although, there can be positive event as well as negative event. But by this term event, what do we mean here in this case? So death by 30 days. Manikandan is writing. Yes. And what is the outcome of interest here? So outcome is death or alive. Live how long? Live how long? How many will alive at the end of 30 days? Okay. So agree. So survival, basically this analysis is done for time to even data. So in this case, you have a start time and then you have a end time. That is the event. And I outcome variable here is the death. Or peep, the butterfly who survived that event will be the 
सर्वाइवल और वी कैलकुलेट दी सर्वाइवल टाइम फॉर दोज बटरफ्लाई सो दिस टाइम कैन बी इन ईयर्स मंथ्स वीक और डेज डिपेंडिंग ऑन आर यूनिट ऑफ एनालिसिस एंड दिस इवेंट कैन बी अ पॉजिटिव इवेंट और कैन बी अ नेगेटिव इवेंट नेगेटिव इवेंट कुड बी डेथ और डिजीज एंड पॉजिटिव इवेंट कुड बी रिलैप्स और रिकवरी बट इन ऑल दीज केसेस वी टर्म दिस इवेंट एज अ फेलियर और इवेंट एंड द पीपल हु सर्वाइव दिस इवेंट वी कैलकुलेट टाइम और द क्यूमुलेटिव सर्वाइवल फॉर दोज पीपल सो देर कैन बी टू पॉसिबिलिटी देर कैन बी वन इवेंट लाइक इन दिस केस एंड देर कैन बी मोर देन वन इवेंट सो इन केस वेर देर इज अ मोर देन वन इवेंट वी कॉल इट एज अ रिकरेंट इवेंट और कंपीटिंग रिस्क लाइक इफ आई वॉन्ट टू मेजर दी डेथ ड्यू टू कार्डियो वैस्कुलर एक्सीडेंट्स इन पीपल हु आर हाइपरटेंसिव एंड इफ दे आर डाइंग बिकॉज ऑफ सम अदर इलनेस लाइक कैंसर और मे बी रोड ट्रैफिक एक्सीडेंट सो दी आउटकम इज डेथ बट इट इज नॉट ड्यू टू दी कार्डियो वैस्कुलर डिजीज so this type of event when there is a event it is known as the competing risk and in the analysis of kaplan meier we assume that there is no competing risk because for such type of risks the analysis is different so the time which we measure which the person has passed that event that is known as the survival time and that event like i said initially we call it as a failure again don't go by the term because in case of a recovery this although we call we are calling it as a failure but this is a positive outcome but again since the origin of the survival analysis is from the cancer studies where the death due to cancer was the failure and people who survived that were the people who we can we calculated survival time for those individual that's why classically it is termed as the failure so now few more questions from you for you people so you have to identify the failure in the given research question so if you want to estimate the median survival time for termination of exclusive breast feeding in a population x so who will be the study participants so all of you please write in the chat box one person is writing that the chat is disabled for that person the chat disabled so uh, i will i will answer the questions that the one person is asking regarding the kaplan meier time and event be independent of each other so i'll answer this question at the end and then uh, many people are writing chat is disabled okay so study participants will be the uh, mother and the uh, like okay so like we need to chat in the q question answer box so like uh, so all of you who are writing that it is disabled please type in the question answer box so breast feeding mother so it will be like the, both breast lactating women and the infant that's that, that's good you have answered it correctly uh, vikas is writing the event or failure is the termination of breastfeeding exclusive breastfeeding agree and the survival time will be the what will be the survival time time is first 6 months of child's life mother and children so the third answer i am expecting from any 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 participant so survival time will be the these twin pair like mother and infant who pass this time still the breast feeding is on still the exclusive breast feeding is going on that will be the survival time so we are now the second question if you want to estimate and compare the median survival time for blood pressure control for drug a and drug b so who will be the study participant in this case
so it will be the patients who are one uh, one set of patients will be for drug a and another yes hypertensive patients agree the event or failure what will be what will be the event or failure in this question so it will be the control of blood pressure which is a positive outcome because we want to estimate the median survival time for blood pressure control so control will be the failure in this case and the people who did not have a control that survival time will be the survival time in our question so in this question again what are we observing here in the first picture if we see what is the event here event you can see here it is from a couple till having a baby then this is again event in the second case will be the hospitalization after hospitalization in how much time there is a recovery and in this case this is the event like from a fracture or from a injury till the recovery so all these are example of event or failure some more example like from first mi till the occurrence of the second mi which we call as at the second attack of mi analysis of the time for fracture to heal or a study of coronary artery bypass surgery and we may analyze that time from that surgery until death or an assessment of an ointment for a contact skin allergies and we may consider the time from the treatment until the rash has cleared up so while interpretation of this survival time on the graph we should appreciate whether the event is negative or a positive outcome and we'll see that in the graph if the event is positive we want our graph to be suddenly coming down the survival graph an event is if it is a negative we definitely want our survival graph to a little bit prolong and then the come down ultimately everybody will come down because everybody will achieve a particular that event or failure let's say death so we know that all of us has to die some day but the study cannot go for so long that's why we keep our study time like fixed maybe 2 years 3 years depending on the availability of the budget and the time and feasibility so if you are conducting a study where time to an event data is recorded then can we anticipate a key problem which we may face during analysis what can be a problem if we are having a study where this time to event data is recorded like in this case consider this example once again when the bottle is closed because initially i said that the bottle was closed and you have to observe the event in this case you can see there are eight butterflies the start day for all the butterfly the observation is the same and this is the date of event event means the event was death so death is like all these case they die and this is the time to event like 20 days if you see the dates then this is 15 days 18 days 9 days and so on so if you have to calculate a <coughs> mean of this so it is easy because all the data you have there is no loss to follow <laughs> excuse me but if you see this table here you can see that the second butterfly this one these two they have not because we are observing till 10 days so that's a limitation we have that it is there for 10 days only we are not following it up for more than that now coming to this one this green one here also you can see these two 
they again the eighth one this flight and this again flight so you can see these two also flight and not died so out of eight only three met an outcome and rest because the bottle was open so there's a loss to follow up or the study ended because my study period was only till 10 days so if i have to calculate the time how will i calculate because i i can i can't take if i wish to take these data i don't know what would have happened so flight and not died till the observation ends what do we call such data so we call such data as a censored data so there are two types of data or the event in this case one will be the event happened like in this case it is the death and the other is the event not happened not happened can be because of many reason it can be because of the in this case the study ended and the butterfly did not die or the butterfly flied that means there is a loss to follow up so we don't know what has happened to those so the such type of data that is known as the censored data so this censorship this always cause a analytical problem because censoring we don't know the exact survival time and to deal with such censorship there was a invention of all these kaplan meier survival curve and the cox proportional hazard method because we'll see that that logistic regression and all those there also we see the outcome but there we don't consider the time as one of the factor we only see like how many died or how many were alive at the end of the period in the last webinar also you have seen like we only see the outcome we don't take the consideration of time into that so in health research there are various reasons of censoring and we'll see the types of censoring also so one reason of censoring is the study ended and there is no event like in case of a breast feeding if i have kept that cessation of bre exclusive breast feeding and my study period was only till one year so there can be a few women and infant uh, twin pair who still continued the breast feeding beyond one year so that time study ended but the event did not occur this is one reason of censoring which is a very common reason of censoring the second can be loss to follow up somehow i lost the track or the participant moved to some other place or did not report the other third reason can be a withdrawal the participant is not interested anymore like we were also doing one study on breastfeeding survival this exclusive breastfeeding and after four months or five months the lady said that we don't want to be a part of the study we don't want so that way they have withdrawn themselves from the study so we don't know what has happened to them when did they achieve that cessation of exclusive breastfeeding so there are uh, these are the three most common reasons for a censoring and we'll see like there are various types of censoring so this comes in which type of censoring so in next two slides we'll see the two situations and we need to see the uh, you know what are those uh, uh, what are your observation so this is one situation where you followed 20 men and 20 women for 12 months that is for one year you have recruited all men and women who had their first mi and then you want to see for the occurrence of second mi so all these 20 men and 20 women they are the women or men who had their first attack of mi i have followed them up for one year and i want to see whether they had any second attack or not so at the end of one year eight men and eight women they develop the second attack of mi so if i have to calculate it how will i do that 8 divided by 20 into 100 so i can say that the risk of this second attack of mi that is same 
in both men and women do you agree with this yes uh, it's a uh, where may to many people are writing that event may recur agree but that is again our study is limited for one period of time so we can only comment on that particular period so in this case you can see that risk is same in both men and women but if i consider the time and if you see here this if you consider this as one year and if you divide this in three period maybe the initial four months the middle four months and the later four months so this is for the men and this is for the women so now still can you final risk is still same in both men and women but what additional data you are getting here yes so uh, uh, again yogesh is writing this sensor data can be called as a competing risk no <clears throat> sensor is always the opposite of the event competing risk only we will say when we have defined the event but it is not very clear cut so that's why that like i have given you the example of death so if you have defining death due to one reason then do you will you include the death due to other reason also in this so it is related to the event competing risk is never related to the censorship censorship is where you could not observe the event because of any reason that is the censorship okay so now uh, in this case you can see the final risk is same in both men and women but still we can say that the women they experience the mi towards the end of the year whereas the men more men experienced immediately within the first four month so what could be the clinical implications of such information if you have so then you will ask the person to be more vigilant to be more careful during for a women who in the last third of the year last 3 uh, months 4 months for the men you have to be more vigilant during the initial 4 months because the risk is more in the initial 4 months yes manikandan is right so that's why such information have a very good clinical implications and survival analysis is often used in the evidence based medicine practice so uh, will you say that still that the male and female have similar exp experience of the second attack of mi so the answer will be no so the speed of occurrence of an event is also important and the time must be taken into consideration if we have that data while analyzing such data so to summarize we can say that when the research question is only to analyze the outcome of interest and if it is binary then we use the logistic regression the binary logistic regression or the other type of logistic regression when the research question is required to analyze analyze the outcome of interest as well as the time associated with that which is known as the time to event and that whenever there is a time to event data then we use the survival analysis as one of the statistical technique so in survival analysis we should have just have a start point when we recruit the person that is a start point and there can be various start point because if your study is having a five year duration so everybody start point will not be the same why because you are recruiting individual for one year or one and a half year then one person may enter in your study today other person may enter the same study after one and a half year so the start time will be different for everyone so there will be a start time for your person and there will be end time similarly the end time will be different for your person the person who has entered in your study after one and a half year and your study is only for five years then he will be there in your study only for three and a half year whereas so the follow up period will be 3 and a half year 
whereas the person who is entering today he will have a follow up period of 5 years so there can be various follow up period also and then you have to measure the time also so that time we measure it in seconds it depends you can measure it in seconds you can measure it in minutes hours days months or years can you give any example where we measure the duration of event in seconds any research question where you have to measure this time in seconds yes i'm just seeing the chat box if i can get any answer <clears throat> okay palash is writing censorship and truncation maybe truncation uh, okay clear uh, truncation I, I, we have not uh, come across this uh, term palash probably we'll see up what is this truncation generally we have seen censorship then clotting time if i see yes clotting time if any disease uh, so you want to see normal clotting time can be there or like resuscitation if you are resuscitating a newborn using a technique in how many seconds the baby was survived cell line study yes geeta has written resuscitation suresh is writing cell line studies agree or uh, such where the even the second is important so generally in uh, all these uh, resuscitation and probably like you said clotting time so these uh, events will be measured in the seconds so uh, the, again there is a question is it usually usually possible to enroll all participants in a study at same time point means a very short duration so we have discussed this that this is not possible as you cannot recruit everyone in single day so people will enter in your study at different time point again this is one hypothetical situation so you can see here that five cases of first mi is there and we are following it up all those five cases so first case is here all the five people they have developed the event and the event was the recurrence of mi and just a hypothetical scenario that we have enrolled all these cases on 1st feb 2021 so you can see this person developed after 10 months this person 2 months 4 months 8 months 6 months etc so if i have to calculate the mean survival time how will i do that i'll like add all these 10 plus 2 plus 4 8 and 6 divided by 5 so it will be the 6 months but in real situation study never ends like this so there may be like three event occurred and in two cases like case number uh, second and case number fourth the event did not occur so then what will i do will i take the mean, mean as 10 plus 4 plus 6 divided by 3 or divided by 5 because in this case we have enrolled all the case but event has not happened with everyone so we can calculate mean like 10 plus 4 plus 6 divided by 3 or by 5 so it will be 6.6 or 3.2 so if we don't so in this case the problem is this censorship so by these two example what i want to emphasize that you don't know what to do with the data which has not met the outcome and to take those into account there was a invention of the survival technique and then that's why we here calculate the probability of an occurrence of an event at each time point that's why we call it as a instantaneous so at each time point it calculates the probability of that event and likewise the survival so this survival analysis basically this is a statistical method for studying the occurrence and timing of events and survival time it refers to a variable of time which measures the time from a start time and a end time and then this time to follow up again it is treated as a dependent variable in our case so there are common type of survival studies we do in the clinical trials we do in the prospective cohort study like in follow up study where it is where it can be a prospective it can be a retrospective 
And there are some features of survival data. Like we always have this time as one of the dependent variable. And this time variable, we know that there can be a wide range. There can be some person where this event has happened in one year. And there can be another person where this event has happened in five years. So it is very skewed in nature. It is never uh, it never follows a normal distribution. So that's why all these Kaplan Meyer and life table, these are the non-parametric method. Because this time to uh, even data that does not follow a normal distribution. And again, there's one more problem because the study is uh, duration is fixed. So we don't know whether the event have, have happened or not in many of the cases. Since because of all those three reasons which we have seen, there can be loss to follow up, there can be withdrawal in the study or the study have ended and the person did not experience that event. So there are some common terms, survival time versus survival data. So for each terminating event, we can record the amount of time and this time is referred to the survival time, the people who have survived that. And the set of such survival time recorded during the study, it is known as the survival data. Now the second time type of time is the censored time and the censored data. So the individual who did not meet the event, there was loss to follow up or event free case at the end of the study, that time is known as the censored time. And that data, the set of that data is known as the censored data. So basically we require three type of data. We should have the event of interest, whether it is a death or it is a relapse, or it is a recovery. We should have a start point and an end point of study. And we should have a selection of time scale. Whether we are going to measure it in minutes, in seconds, hours, days, or years. So suppose if you want to see the progress of a patient until the occurrence of some well-defined event, again the same second MI after the first one. So there can be one person where this event has occurred. There can be another person who I could not follow and my study ended and even the person did not have the second attack of MI. Now, there are basically few types, two types of censoring. So censoring like we have seen, it is a statistical term used to describe the process of producing incomplete observation. And again, the cause is whether survival time is not known loss to follow up or the event has not occurred. And usually if you take this as a survival time, so these three types occurred on the right side of the this period. That's why this is known as the right sensory. There's another example which is known as the type which is known as the left sensory. So left sensory occurred, occurs generally when you don't know you, the patient has come to you at three months. Suppose this <clears throat> example, you want to see the recurrence of hernia. So you have done the surgery and <clears throat> you are following all the patients of surgery till the recurrence of hernia. At three months, you have examined the person. But at that time, there was hernia. So you don't know when the person has, uh, when that hernia recurred. So your observed time, it will be <clears throat> always more than the actual time. So here the time to event is less than the observed. That means it will be in between this 0 to 3. This is known as the left censoring. So we should try to keep this left censoring up to a minimal level. And this usually depends on the clear cut definition. Like or the type of method we use to determine when the person is disease free, less of subjectivity, more of objectivity will rule out this left censoring. So it is suitable for such studies where follow-up time varies among patients without events and these methods 
were developed to prevent from the underestimation of evil. Because because of censoring, if you don't take censoring into account, the observed survival that was the underestimation of the actual survival time. So it can be done using three approach, life table analysis, kaplan meyer survival approach and the Cox proportional hazard approach. So lifetime, uh, life table. So in life table, what we do, generally the it is done more commonly in the insurance sector. Here, uh, it is not the instantaneous rate we calculate, rather we take the period, the predefined period like one year, two year, etc. So here the fixed interval is there and the calculation is done for that entire duration. And it is assumed that uh, we will see that it is assumed that to calculate the number of people at risk during the interval, we subtract half of the withdrawal during that interval. So that would, because we assume that the study subjects were at risk for half the interval. Like this is one example, uh, one study where the person has calculated this life table. The risk of breastfeeding cessation among low income women, infant and children. And he has done this life table. He has taken uh, children at birth and then he has seen like uh, a uh, number who were breastfeeding at the beginning of the month, number who stopped breastfeeding during the month. So he started the uh, uh, 309 uh, breastfeeding babies he took and then he calculated the, uh, this uh, constructed this life table. And you can see the proportion still feeding at the last, this thing at the end of probably uh, this 12 month, it was only the 6%. Similarly, this is the survival analysis of a drug abuse relapse in addiction treatment centers. And in this case, you can see he has also taken a interval of six months. So in the previous one, you can see here he has taken the time of one month. Here uh, you can see the interval is of one to six months, six to 12 months. And again, this is the survival rate. This is the cumulative survival and this is the hazard rate. We'll uh, understand more about the hazard rate in the next webinar. This is again the survival of patients with bladder cancer using the life table approach. You can see he has like uh, divided this into gender. Given the life table, this survival at one year, three year, five year and ten year. So the study must be there uh, for ten year. That's why. And he has measured the interval in 10 year. In Jamovi also you will see that by default Jamovi takes like 1 year, 3 year, 5 year. And then he has used the other independent variable like the gender, the BMI, occupation and age. And given the uh, the survival at the, in the individual, uh, uh, this thing, group. Like you can see at the 10 year in male and female. And then again BMI you can see if you see that. Uh, the risk is cumulative survival is uh, more at the 10 year here in the less in the underweight. Similarly, you can see the other values here. And this is the cumulative probability of overall survival. So, but what is the limitation of life table approach? So, in life table, we have got a fixed time interval, and we assume that there is a uniform distribution of event within each interval. So it is less accurate in handling of censored data and it is less uh, like uh, it gives you a less detailed survival estimates. And for life table, you require a large sample size. And again, in life table, you cannot compare because in kaplan Meyer you can compare uh, seeing the uh, like gender here. Also, you can see life table also. It gives you the cumulative survival. But that curve and uh, if you see the um, between the group survival, it is more interpretable in case of a Kaplan-Meyer. So like I said, that next webinar is on Cox proportional hazard, which is on 12th December from 2 to 3.30 p.m. 
So coming to the Kaplan Meier, whatever was the disadvantage with the life table, that was the disadvantage. That was the that were that that are the advantages of this Kaplan Meier approach. So here we calculate the instantaneous, that is at time t. So there is no fixed time interval. There is no assumption of uniform distribution of event within each interval. It is it is more accurate in handling sensor event. and detailed survival estimates are calculated it can be done even with small sample size and like i said it has got more intuitive interpretation as compared to the life table so now before i go into the uh, no, this detail of this kaplan meier let's understand the concept of conditional probability because this uh, calculation of kaplan meier estimate that is dependent on this conditional probability so we all know the probability like the event occurred and in the denominator we take the total possibility so this conditional prob probability it is in the context of kaplan meier it involves like if the person has survived up till time t what is his probability that it will survive beyond that time point so let's see with this uh, uh, this example so this is a hypothetical study the population is the patient diagnosed with a certain type of cancer and my interest is to see the survival time in years after diagnosis so if i have three these three survival probability so the survival probability after first year this one this is 80% the survival probability after second year is 60% and the survival probability after three year is 50% so what is this conditional probability so the conditional probability is we denote this by this uh, probability survive conditional probability of surviving for third year and in the denominator we take the probability of surviving till second year so in this case you can see the probability of surviving till two year was 60% and the probability of surviving till three year was 50% so i'll take this 50 by 60 so it is 83% so how will i say that the probability of surviving past two year is 83% so i can say that if the patient has already survived for 2 years the probability that they will survive through the third year is approximately 83% and this conditional probability is used it is very useful in understanding the continued survival because we will say in uh, we calculate this condition we multiply all these conditional probability and that's how we calculate the total survival so this kaplan meier this is also known as the product limit estimator method and here the survival probability is calculated so this survival probability at time t is calculated by the multiplication of all these probability so this p1 is the probability of surviving at least one month like if i am measuring it in month at least one month after the beginning of the study this p2 is the conditional probability of surviving the second month after having survived in the first month and that's how the other pt like we just we have seen the concept of conditional probability so all these product multiplication of these product this gives you a overall survival probability at time t you don't need to calculate this because whether it is spss or jmov that background calculation goes and you have that data in front of you but just to understand what is happening in the background we are just telling you these concepts so in kaplan meier either you can measure a overall time to event or you can compare it across any independent variable like gender or bmi or any other independent variable again one how it works so here you can see we have started with six individual so one person died at four months 
so what will be the survival at time t <coughs> it will be five people survive we have started with six so it will be 0.833 again here there is a one dropout and one died so this dropout is a censored case so censored will always be deducted from the denominator so we are there with three people so what will be the probability three and then here we'll take four why because one case there's a dropout so three by four so here the probability will be the 0.75 so what will be the cumulative survival at time t so like i said here you can see here it is the product so both these 0.833 multiplied by 0 0.750 because kaplan meier is the multiplication of these probabilities so that's why the probability at 10 months the survival probability at 10 months is 0.625 if i again go so at 14 months you can say again one person died so i am left with two so my Survival at time t will be the 2 by 3. So it will be 2 by 3 which is 0 0.677. But the cumulative survival at this time will be 0 0.625 which I can get from this number here, this one. And then multiplied by 0 0.677. So the cumulative survival will, will be 0 0.417. So are you, are you people getting how this calculation is running in the background? And then again, there is one loss to follow. So in the denominator, I'll reduce one. So my probability will be zero by one. It will be zero percent. So again, overall probability because it is zero percent. Because I'm now there's no one left. Everyone died or there's a loss to follow. So that's how the Kaplan-Meier method works. Now if I have to compare survival curve, I have to compare using I can do that and there are statistical measure. Like if there are two arms and I have to see the comparison of these two arms in a clinical trial, I, I can use, there are various statistical tests. I, if I want to compare across like people who are hypertensive, non-hypertensive, if I want to see the mortality or diabetes, yes or no, or male and female, I can compare that. So the for studies involving comparison of two treatment, we need three information, treatment group, whether the person is belong to A or B, follow-up duration, whether it is in days, how many days, and event of interest, whether the event has occurred or it is a sensor data. So we can subjectively uh, compare these curve. So there are three tests, log rank. Most of you have uh, must have heard the name of log rank. There's a Breslau and there's a Tarone wear. So SPSS has got this option of all these three, but Jamovi generally you will see it takes the log rank as a default. But generally log rank compares the survival curve during the late late period. Breslau's in the early period and Tarone were in the middle. That's the classically we say, but Jamovi has log rank as a statistical method. Those of you who use SPSS, you have the option of all these three tests. So now what is a median survival time? So basically median survival time in case of a survival analysis is at that event time in which the cumulative survival becomes 0.5 or 50%. That means 50% of the people in your data have achieved the event. That is the cumulative survival. So now again, we have uh, learned this, but again, uh, to repeat that it is a non-parametric method, this Kaplan-Meier. So we are now uh, reading the Kaplan-Meier. So it is a non-parametric method to estimate survival function. And like we seen that it is a also known as the Kaplan-Meier product limit estimator method. It can accommodate missing data such as censoring, and median standard error of median and confidence interval is calculated.
we can also compare the survival curve using log rank test why this time to event data is unique because it also it tells you not only when the event has happened but uh, uh, whether the event have happened or not but when that event have happened and it also use the uh, censored data and some special techniques are there so there are methodological issues in time to event data the first one is there should be a very clear cut definition of target event in this case like you can see death death is a very clear cut definition so you should try to define it very clearly so that the left censoring you can avoid the left censoring if you have a very clear cut definition of target like such data like property removal cessation of breastfeeding that is very clearly remembered by the participant and you may find it in the databases also but diseases which have got a like cancer screening or recurrence of hernia when the it is subjective unless and until the person uh, does not go to the doctor of, or it, if it is a very mild one he may not notice it then there will be issue with the left censoring and then the observed survival will always be less than the actual survival so this is very important concept that you should have a very clear cut definition of target event you sh you should have a start time which is the time of origin and you should always document the follow up time and the time scale and how the participants will exit the study there are few assumptions before you run this kaplan meier the first assumption is event status it should have two mutually exclusive that means all the individual either they will meet the event or it will be a censored event that is there the second one is like time to event or censorship which is known as the survival time it should be clearly defined and precisely measured we have discussed that third one is the independence of censoring and the event i think one participants asked this question also in the beginning and what do we understand by the independence of censoring and the event so this is like if my event is death and the person death due to maybe or the second attack of mi like we have seen and if i have like my study ended or the people they are lost to follow up just a second my battery is running low let me check yeah. i think so it is not showing okay. It is it writing plugged in? No. Okay. Right. Plug in. Okay. Sorry. So we were discussing like this one: independence of censoring and the event. so if my event is the second attack of uh, mi so people who have left or withdrawn or there's a loss to follow the loss of follow up loss to follow up is not because of the second attack of mi it may be due to some other reason so with uh, the people whom i have written one that means they have met with that event the other people the censored one they have not met that event that is for sure that is the one assumption which we have to keep into account that means the censored people must not have met the second attack of mi till our study period is there so that is uh, one assumption which we have to take into account the that the censor reason of censoring that is not due to the occurrence of event did you get it that means person who is a loss to follow up 
they have not met with the recurrent attack of or the second attack of MI. They are laws to follow up means they have not met with the event. That's the one assumption which we have. Another assumption is like left censoring should be avoided. And if you have got a clear cut definition of the event, then this will be avoided. And all these four are study design issue. Another assumption is there should not be any secular trends or secular changes. Now, what are these secular changes or secular trends? Suppose if your study is for a five-year duration, like let's say you are studying the cancer death, uh, death due to skin cancer. So you have taken individual with skin cancer and maybe your study, you have planned your study for five years. So you have recruited one individual today and then the recruitment period, you have kept it for two years. So when you have recruited the last person in your study, and by that time, there is some new modality of the treatment and the person has started taking some other treatment. The person whom you have recruited at the end of two years and the person whom you have recruited in the beginning, he's on another treatment because that till that time, that newer modality was not available. So that's if there is a secular trend, then you should do the two separate analysis before that new modality and after that new modality. Because if there is a secular trend, like if there is some screening program where, where, where you can detect these cancer more easily, again, there will be the time of left censoring will be reduced. So if there are such secular trends, then you should do a separate analysis means before that and after that. Otherwise, you assume that there is no secular changes or trends either in diagnosing the disease or in the treatment modality. That is one assumption of the Kaplan-Meier method. And then this is again, we check in the SPSS that the amount of censorship should be almost similar and the pattern also, it should be similar in the both the group. So SPSS gives you, in Jamovi, we can do it using the chi-square or the frequency table. We can see that. And again, I said that there should be analysis of two different time points if there is a secular trend. So now let's understand the data set and run the analysis. So we can go to the JMOV. So I'll open the, uh, again, so data set has been shared uh, with you people. So you people can, uh, if you want to practice along with us, you people can open the data set. In the, if I go to the data, this is the data, data set. If I go to the variable, double click the variable, so for those of you who are again uh, new to this workshop, where you are attending this workshop for the first time, for those of you people, we generally do this analysis on Jamovi. So Jamovi is a software where you can see there is a data and there is a result in the same interface. And here you can see that uh, this, my phone. So you can see this in the data and this, they, these two goes uh, in the same interface. Those of you uh, again, install the Jamovi, then for this survival analysis, you need to install this J survival. So can you see a plus sign here? Click on this plus sign and then go to this installed. You can go to the Jamovi library. Since here in my library, you can see don't go with this death watch and there is a J survival this one j survival survival module for clinical path for jamovi 0.0.2 you have to download that 
from the library all of you please do this then you people can do along with us and then you can see here in the tab this survival this one this will be there this option right now it is may not be there for many of you who have not installed so those of you who have not installed please go to this plus module click this and install this j survival survival module for clinical path for jamovi and then if you have clicked that it will be there in your this upper ribbon then these are the variables i have the age in years then gender the race of the people cardiovascular disease the mi order whether it is a first order or second order the type of mi whether it is a q wave or a non q wave the bmi categories smoking status this is the follow up duration and this is the final status so if you see the final status it is either the sensor or the second attack of mi so if you double click this and if you keep on going you can see the all other variable what are these variables whether it is nominal or ordinal the type of data and then their levels their code and keep on clicking like this and then you can see the variable and their coding like male and female 1 and 2 so this is for all those people who are for joining for the first time then there are other options we have covered that in the previous webinar regarding the other anal analysis like uh, we have shown the t test regression frequencies and now we have to show the see the survival so now click on the i'll go to the question so if you see the question this is for the life table so in jamo we in sps is this life table and the kaplan mar the, these two are the separate option but in jamo it is in the single click so that's why i'll uh, tell you first we'll see both the questions so in this question the researcher has followed 192 cases of first attack of mi for 7 years the second attack of mi as an outcome was observed during this period and at the end of 7 year they have been labeled either as censored or as first attack of mi 70 patients had second attack of mi over this period so i have to plot a survival table across gender for one year cut point and give its interpretation and i have to draw a survival plot for the same cut point so first i'll show this so how i'll uh, do this so i'll go to this jamovi in jamovi you can see you have to click this survival and there are various options so you have to click this survival analysis univariate survival analysis cox kaplan meier this first option so if you click this this window will appear here you can see there is a time elapsed there is a outcome and this is the event level and this is the explanatory variable so all of let me see the chat box so all of you could see the uh, data can did you download the data or uh, data set not shared okay and vaishali is asking me right and left censoring again okay i'll explain that once again right and left censoring after this i'll explain that can you share the information for the same uh okay so you want data set should to be shared again right <clears throat> so how will we share that again okay so uh, clarnet team is sharing <coughs> data set is shared already again okay so data dr navin has again shared the and shan is writing how to use jamovi actually jamovi the basic one it will be difficult for us 
but yes it is uh, easy you can go to the google you can right now do that go to the google type here like download jamovi maybe i can open in between time the other participants are using this you can type this download jamovi so click that download jamovi and then if you click this jamovi desktop it will ask you for a solid version or a current version so click this solid version and then here you can see all releases windows solid version exe and zip so you can click then click keep on doing like next next and it will be there on your desktop and then you can type on this window jamovi and if you type this uh, version will appear and if you click this app then that uh, data will be open and then you can go to this click open this new that is a new sheet which has got opened so click open and then browse the data so that excel sheet it can take all kind of data and you can do that so you can see our previous videos and then you can do that so no issues with the latest version you can uh, do the latest version also but for the beginners generally we recommend the solid version as because in latest version still people are writing module because this jamovi is a open uh, source software like r the background so people are writing commands to add more modules you will see there are a lot of new modules in the existing one also they are like changing the commands so once it gets settled and they test its interpretability and its working and functioning then it gets incorporated into the solid version so maybe for uh, people who are very well versed into using uh, the many software and a slight discomfort you can bear then you can use the uh, latest version also and solid is like once they test and it is working then it comes into the solid so christina is writing i am not able to download the data set uh, how to view our previous session so you can see those on the youtube you can type the jamovi webinar clarnet maybe there are many courses also which are there on the youtube youtube on merit india youtube there's a course on jamovi also on our website for the beginners to uh, see the basic commands so you can enroll that's free and uh, you can enroll and you can learn all those things okay uh, so download the data set i think okay so we'll see the issues uh how why what what is, what is the problem with the data set so till the time i'll show you the other commands so you can see this survival click to this univariate <clears throat> now here you will see there is a okay in analysis column survival not available okay so that's why i said na click on this plus can you see this and go to this jamovi library because once you install it only the basic options will be there all these we have downloaded so go to library and then search for this type this j survival here in search type j survival 
and since in my system it is installed that's why it is writing install for you you click on install and then it will be there okay it's no problem dr datta you can go and see it is very easy so i guess should we go ahead move ahead uh, you can again uh, because since these all video recorded sessions will be available to you people so you can explore at your own pace also there is no need to uh, get uh, this thing that you know you don't know it is only because you have started learning now the moment you will learn all these things everything will be very easy for you people so right now i am moving ahead because time is limited but again uh, you will have all these sessions with you recorded one so this uh, we can see here i will uh, move this time so time is the follow up duration you can see here this is a scale variable so this follow up duration now one important thing here which i want all of you to remember <laughs> if you see the data and if you see the follow up time so my follow up duration if you see it is in days 406 days and if you see it is in days so you have to be very uh, clear uh, clearly uh, very much uh, what should i say aware regarding the unit of time because then it will have some problem when you analyze so if you click this so my follow up time is in days outcome is the follow up status whether the first attack occurred or not here you have to select the event so i want to see the survival for second attack so that's why i have by default it will take censored but i am not interested in censoring so that's why i have clicked the second attack of mi and if i want to see it across gender so i have put this gender here now there is a option of now all these field will be like this okay i am just closing this so it will appear like this all will be in the form of a ribbon so if you click this it will appear like that so in your data set if you have got a diagnosis date and follow up date if it is there in excel it calculates the time automatically but since i have calculated this follow up duration in excel and i have imported the data that's why i will not use this option otherwise if you if in your data if you have got a start time and a end time this calculates so this is for the, that option so i am not using this option now coming to the another option analysis with multiple outcome remember we talked about the competing risks so if you have to see these risks like death or disease death of due to some other reason alive versus disease etc et but this multiple event we are not uh, teaching you people right now because let's learn first the basic survival so since i am only interested with one outcome that is the recurrent attack of mi that's why i will not click this this single arm <coughs> survival again the, i want to see it across the gender so i am not clicking this this pair wise comparison this is important when you have got more than 3 means if explanatory variable here is bmi which has got three category and if you want to see the survival a different cumulative survival difference between various two group like we see in anova if you can recall the anova there we compare the pair wise do the pair wise comparison but it is only two levels that's why i am not clicking this pair wise comparison coming to the plot so yes i want this plot survival plot if you want the cumulative event and cumulative hazard you can click that now one important point which i want all of you to please see this this is the plot end time and time interval so by default what this jamovi does this takes it in months so here you can see end time is 60 and time interval is 12 this is in month that means every one year it is there yes uh, bhargavi you will get the recorded session so here okay so uh, let's first see the survival table 
So here time I have to change. So end time in my case it is in days. So if you come here in survival table. So survival table, this survival table is the life table. So right now I am showing you the life table. So this cut point is 12, 36 and 60. So this is giving you in months. But my, your plot option is not active. It will be, it will be. We'll just let me show it. So this, uh, let me, here, I will show you this. I have to change this. So how I will do it? If you want to delete this, you have to select this all. So now my this thing has moved. Let me again. I will move this time here. Follow up duration here. Then follow up status. This is my second attack. Gender. And then I will come to this life table. So here cut point I will show. Like. 365 days because I have to show it after every year. So 365. Then the second time point I have to show. I will add 365 and then 365. So it will be like 730. So 730. And then again, I'll add 365 in this. So it is 1095. And then again, I'll add this 1460. And then I'll add this 1825. So are you getting what I am doing right now? So I am giving the cut point for the survival table. So if you see this table. So it is not okay. Maybe it will take now. Because initially it was taking in the month. So now, right now you can see this table. So can you see this table now? It is telling you the survival at this time point. In male and in female. At one year, two year, three year, four year. You can add five year also. So right now I have to, I had to convert. Okay. It was there in months, but now it is uh, in days because by default here, it takes it in months. But here you have to change these cut points. So that's why it is now there. And many times it takes time in buffering. So initially it was there in months, but then it got corrected. So this was regarding the life table and this interpretation you can see we have entered this is again the same life table. I have just copied and pasted it here. So you can do the right click. You can copy and you can paste it here in the Microsoft Word. So since we have pasted it, I'll show you here. No, you can ECHDMI1. Paste it. One check that the table is blocked. And you can see this is the event. Device are correct. Two. So this here you can see this is the table and the interpretation you can see. The most important interpretation if you see the survival. So in male at the end of seven years you can see the survival is 35%. Whereas in female it is 10%. So what are the implications? So implications is like this. The data suggests that female may have a higher risk of mortality post second MI compared to males, especially in long term. And that's why 
we have to counsel the women regarding this gender specific risk and all these uh, table interpretation is also there and you can also use uh, like chat gpt for interpretation you can just copy paste the table there which is there in jamovi along with that uh, p value and then you can ask the chat gpt to write the interpretation also but again you have to keep your eyes open you cannot be very much blind towards that now coming again for the second one which is the kaplan meier so if you see the kaplan meier this is the kaplan meier and here again i have to see the cumulative survival so i have to calculate the median survival time for second mi across gender and i have to determine whether there is a statistically significant difference between this survival distribution of second mi across gender so what will i do now i'll go to this survival plot which i was doing initially and then here i have to change the time so that for uh, so maximum i'll keep it as 2160 because the a uh, mine is in days and i have to divide it by three, this 365 plot because at one year so then you can see this is the survival plot now in the survival plot you will see that there is a log rank and the, it is significant and you can see here that the survival probability it is significant that means the this dash is, this dash is for the here you can see between male and female so this dash is for the women and this the straw this one is for the and if you want uh, this uh, risk table also if you click this risk table then risk table will appear yes you can see the risk table so this red is for the female and this blue is for the male and this tells you the number at risk at each time point at 365 730 1095 and so on and again if you wish if you want sensor data also to be there so you can see here it will have a like vertical cut i'll show you the graph so you can see like this this vertical this one this dash dash that is for the uh this sensor if you uncheck this it will have a smooth appearance it will have a smooth appearance if you want 95% ci if you click this then the appearance of graph will be including this 95% ci it will have a shaded area yes you can see this the graph will be like this so this is regarding the plot this is regarding the now you will see that this doesn't get changed although this is in days still this is in months so there is a bug in jamovi so you just have to do this click this and then uncheck this and there's one more months time yes i am doing that here do this in days and then check and uncheck so let's hope ki this days months gets changed into days so now you can see this has changed into days did you get it what was the problem in the initial graph even if i changed it to days it was showing month so <laughs> in this advanced time option you time type you type in days if you click this it is in week months years so 
click days here and then go and check and uncheck this. Then it will be done. Otherwise, it, it doesn't take. I don't know. There is some bug in the soft, this, this command. So we some part, one participant asked this in the previous webinar. That time we could not do it. Then we, we just tried and then this time it happened. So that's why we, we thought that we'll share this with you. Because you have to copy this graph. If you copy this graph, this whole will be copied. So then there was no way you could change the axis. But now you can do that. So time and uh, this thing, we have seen that. And this is the uh, life table. So this is the Kaplan Meyer. And I said that this takes only one, this thing, which is the log rank, not the any other like Breslau's and Taroman that is there in the SPSS. So this is regarding the, uh, if you want to change this. BMI. Yes, we can take the BMI instead of this. You can take the BMI categories. And then you can see the difference. So this is again significant. And if you see the cumulative. In this case, if you want to see the BMI, then I think uh, just uncheck this 95% CI. Because then that CI, it makes that uh, if there are three groups, then that overlap is there and it is difficult to interpret. So now you can see. There are three different color. Green is for obese. Red is for underweight and this is for normal. So cumulative survival, you can see the normal. It is more, which is there with the blue one. And the red is the green and again this is the at each interval you can see so how uh, should we see the median survival so we have not discussed that table so there is a median survival so here so here you can see the median survival in the gender we could not discuss but this will tell you the event. This is the mean and standard error of mean. This mean is not that mean. It is the area under the curve. And this is the median. So this you have to report it in the analysis. Median with the 95% confidence interval. And uh, this is upper since it has gone up. There was a white. That's why it is writing NAN. And uh, this... Uh, one nine, you will see that the median survival rate, if I see it for gender, let's do it for the gender first because we could not do at that time. I, I did not tell you. So we'll see for gender. So for gender, you will see that the median survival for female, that is less as compared to male. For male, it was 1847. And for female, it was 1320. This one, sorry. I was seeing the uh, confidence interval. So female, it was less as compared to male. And uh, we can see here, what is the median survival? So in the graph, the 0.5, this one. So you touch this. This one. If I touch this line to this graph, yes. So, and the vertical line, which touches this point, it is a median survival time. Similarly, if I extend this here, this is, will be the median survival. So, you have to draw, I am not able to draw a straight line. But if you draw a straight line, let me try once again. And then... This becomes a little thicker. Okay, I'll... So this one, yes, better than before. And similarly, so it is very nearby, you can see. 
So the at point which it touches this graph, the vertical distance. So this distance. And this because this is a nearly straight line, so this will be your median survival time, the time on the x-axis. So how we have defined the median survival time, the cumulative survival, it is 0.5 at whatever time, the 50 percent of the individual they have experienced the event that is the median survival time. So this is regarding the interpretation. If you see the interpretation, how to make the table and how to write the interpretation. So you can see here, we have written the median survival time along with the 95% confidence interval, the value of log rank test, and the, again, this is the curve. We have given the table risk table at the bottom, and then this is the interpretation that uh, it was statistically significant. Why? Because the male, the median survival time, it was more in male as compared to female. And that was regarding the uh, interpretation of the graph as well as table. So this is regarding the kaplan Meyer, And then again, uh, for all the initial uh, videos, you can visit to Merit India website. You can visit, see our uh, YouTube channel also. Videos are available there. The course on Jamovi is also there. And then regarding one question, left censoring and right censoring. So right censoring is basically towards the right part of the follow-up. Like I said, there are three reasons of right censoring. Either the person is a loss to follow-up or the person has withdrawn from the study or the study ended and the person did not experience any event. That is the reason of the right censoring. Now what is uh, left censoring? So left censoring is when the event has happened before the person has reported to you. Like I have given you the example of recurrence of hernia after surgery. If your event is to see when the hernia recur after surgery, the person has reported to you, but when you have examined, there is already hernia. So you don't know the exact time when the hernia happened. So time is always less. It has happened before the person came to you. That is known as the left censoring. So what do we mean by censoring means you don't know the exact time of the event. That is the classical definition of censoring. In case of a left censoring, when the person has come to me, already the event has happened. So I don't know the exact time. In case of a right censoring, the study has ended. So I don't know when the you know, person have experienced that event or the person has gone out of my study. So did you understand the difference between the left and right censoring? Okay, Dr. Rajesh is writing how to interpret the table on survival. So table on survival, I, I think, didn't I tell? Let me see. This is the table. So this I have told you that this tells you the number at risk and number of events and it calculates the cumulative survival. So you have to write like you can write at uh, two year, the cumulative survival. So at one year, two year, three year and four year, the cumulative survival was going down starting from 97% to 68% <coughs> in male. In female, this drop was more starting from 89 till 52 percent. So this they they have survived less as compared to male. So this is regarding the interpretation of the table. You have to copy paste this table like we have seen in few articles also. They have given this table as such. You can do a little bit of modifications if you wish, especially this part. This is just like a Microsoft Word. So you can paste it and you can do a little bit of modification. Graph you cannot change, but table, yes, you can. So I think we can end the webinar here. I installed the Jamovi. How to add your work data file in the Jamovi no. software? Direct click. You can directly click it because it's a Jamovi file which we have shared. No? CSV. Okay. <laughs> Thank <laughs>
so um, yeah, i think can we end the webinar now if you people in case of any query you can write to us or uh, the video recording will be available to you and uh, the vikas has also written to us regarding any future webinar on uh, this meta analysis we have been promising this for so long i think past 6 months but we we are not uh, able to conduct it but definitely in 2024 we are very hopeful for this let's see that value of uh, this thing i think it doesn't jammo we doesn't give you it we have taken it from spss so that's why that 4.49 or that value of chi square it only gives you the overall overall p value of the log rank this doesn't give you jammo we so uh, maybe i have used that uh, uh, spss for that okay okay then thank you everyone we are thank you ma'am all yes. right thank you so much ma'am thank you for valuable time thank you for being with us hoping to meet you again on this platform very soon for any other next sessions so with all your due permissions can we conclude the session over here uh oh, we yes. would like to yes uh, please conclude the session all right thank you so much